So in this video, we're going back to the Cretaceous and looking at arguably the most famous and the most feared of all the dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. So if you're ready, explorers, let's go. Hey there and welcome to Simple Home Science. My name's Chris and on this channel we do experiments, science vlogs and documentary style videos just like this one to help make science simple, fun and educational for children of all ages. And if you're new to this channel and you want to join us on this journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. So let's get to it, shall we? When we talk about carnivorous dinosaurs, the species that most people first think about is the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the largest land predators to ever exist. Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-rex as it's also known, gets its name from a mix of ancient Greek and Latin that translates as Tyrant Lizard King, and this dinosaur really did live up to that name. The Tyrannosaurus rex was a theropod dinosaur that belonged to the Tyrannosauridae family. Theropod dinosaurs were bipedal, this means they walked on two legs. T-rex had a huge head, its jaw alone could grow to around 1.2 meters, which is 4 feet in length. This huge head was counterbalanced by strong thighs and a powerful tail. The jaws of T-Rex produced the strongest bite force of any land-dwelling animal ever, many times stronger than the Nile alligator. Like all theropod dinosaurs, T-Rex had two front arms called forelimbs. These arms consisted of two clawed fingers. The arms were short, about three feet long, but unusually powerful for their size. Tyrannosaurus rex lived around 68 to 65 million years ago during a period of time known as the Late Cretaceous. Tyrannosaurus rex lived on an island continent known as Laramidia. This became known as North America. Tyrannosaurid fossils have been found all around the world, but the largest of the species, the Tyrannosaurus rex, have only ever been found in North America. T-Rex was first discovered between 1900 and 1902 by American paleontologist Barnum Brown in eastern Wyoming and Montana which are both located in the famous Hell Creek Formation, which has yielded many dinosaur discoveries over the years. T-Rex was named by the president of the American Museum of Natural History, Henry Fairfield Osborne, in 1905. An adult T-Rex could grow to around 12 meters in length, which is 40 feet, and stood around three to four meters tall at the hips, which is 10 to 13 feet. Stood fully upright, they could reach heights of up to six meters, which is 20 feet, and could weigh anything between eight and 14 metric tons. What we understand about dinosaurs is constantly changing and the T-Rex is no different. For many years now, strong evidence has been discovered to suggest that modern day birds evolved from the two-legged theropod dinosaurs. Fossil remains have been found of the Velociraptor with preserved feathers. It is now believed that the Tyrannosaurus rex had feathers on some parts of its body at some point during its life cycle. Tyrannosaurus rex was a carnivore, a meat-eating dinosaur, and had incredible senses, hearing, binocular vision and smell. New research has suggested that T-Rex acted as both a predator and an opportunistic scavenger, making excellent use of these senses to give the dinosaur the best chance of avoiding starvation. T-Rex reached adult size when it was about 20 years old, after a period of growth spurts. After this, it only lived for about 5-10 to 10 years more. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, along with the Iguanodon and the Stegosaurus, served as the initial inspiration for the creation of Godzilla. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. It really does help the channel out. And let me know in the comments below which dinosaur scares you the most. If you're new to this channel and you want to come with us on this journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And until next time, see ya.